So module nine, the full application process. So ideally you need this to be in autopilot and you need to get into a rhythm. This now is what you are gonna be assessed against in your live Zoom call. Even though it's quite difficult to see on Zoom, that's what we've been told we've got to do, which is fine. So we'll do our best with, with it. So the full application process is four steps. And in each individual step, there's also a procedure, which you know, because we've just been over that. So you need to put the lash on, you need to do the, the treatment in this order. So one, pick the lash up, two, isolate, three, glue, for application. So do it in the order, talk yourself through while you're doing it, and get into the rhythm of doing it in that order. If you switch the process round, you're likely to struggle. So from years and years of teaching in a classroom, whenever I've seen people struggle, they've ended up doing something before the other thing. So they'll, they'll isolate and then pick the lash up and then they'll lose their isolation. Or they'll, they'll glue the lash and then they'll be isolating so the glue's dry little things like that. So if you do it in this order, you should be okay. And we'll go as a recap, we'll just go over what we've already done in the previous chapters. So pick your lash up, you need to go in from the side at a 90 degree angle, you need to pick it up at the end, not the root. Um, and you need to pick it up at the end so that you can properly glue the lash. Number two, isolate. So you need one lash to be isolated. So if you've got two, get rid of it let go and isolate again. You need to use your least dexterous hand. So you need to use your weak hand for isolation. You need to be able to hold the isolation steady. And you need a wide, a wide parting in your tweezers. Glue technique. So you need enough adhesive, but not too much. We don't want any beads or balls on the lash because clients pick it. Any excuse to pick, they will pick. So if there's any lump bumps, anything like that, they'll pick it off. You do not want to be getting glue on your tweezers. So don't dunk it in too far. You just want the lash to go in, not your tweezers. And then you need to apply the lash straight away before the glue dries. Application, we want the correct angle. We need a tiny gap at the root and we need all the lashes, the bottom lashes to be covered up so that you don't glue their eyelids closed. Um, so with this, keep practicing. If you're struggling, go through this four step troubleshooting guide we're gonna these slides are like we said before attached as a pdf document i think i think you may have had this email to you as well so keep referring back to this document keep watching the tutorials and keep practicing and we'll move on to the next module